Ay, 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 Good morning, welcome to the program. Larry Zamo just my name. And this morning we shall be talking about love. Only last night uh, someone told me this young man is making so much money because he's just lucky and loved by a lot of people. Not because he's truly, truly gifted. And that cost me to dig deep. And a man romance with literature clearly shows that Cristiano Ronaldo has indeed enjoyed love, love, love from a lot of quarters. Oh, what a battle it was between a man you and Real Madrid talking love for a player. But Ronaldo has enjoyed the love, love, love from many, many quarters. And I begin this morning from the home of his father and the mother. Born in 1985 to Mario Dolores dos Santos Aviero and Jose Dinis Aviero, his father showed love when he was just a bouncing baby boy by naming him Ronaldo after his favorite actor, the then U.S. President Ronald Reagan. I so get that right. He's called Ronaldo today because of love. The father's love for the work of Ronald Reagan as an actor. At the age of eight, he enjoyed love of a different kind. When his father, his father was the kids man at amateur club Andorina, decided to give him a boot and I said, I play football, my son. And so love again. At the age of 15, Ronaldo was diagnosed with irregular heartbeat. And the doctors feared at that time that he was going to stop football completely. But love came from the home again. This time from the mother. And the mother declared that all the sporting staff at the club take him, take him to the hospital. He was operated upon and, and he became well. As a love of a mother allowing the son to be operated upon at the age of 15. Love, love, love. Moved from the home to the fields. As he was told, he was told at the age of 16. By then, a Liverpool manager, Gerard Hule, that he was never going to walk alone. That statement, that statement by Gerard Hule caused so many coaches to take a notice of the young player. Anyone who buys this player will enjoy him, he was quoted as saying at that time. But this club, Liverpool, did not buy because the boy was still too frail and young. And when a sporting defeated United City won in the year 2003, in a league game, Champions League game, it was clear to Alex Ferguson that he needed Cristiano Ronaldo. He told the other members of his coaching staff that this is the guy who destroyed us and so we must get him to our food. I really love him and I want him here. I'm using love loosely this morning. Not the times you are thinking about, huh? Your love they affect my brain until they make me go insane. So it's no gay, huh? Think she become my place. You know here I'm a good talk and again. Agape love. Your love they affect my brain. Oh my love, I they go insane. Just leave him the way he be, the way he did. And so because of the love, now all this man that he has for Ronaldo, when he was signed, when he was signed, pain. Baba Feggy so told him to wear Jesse number seven. After the player had demanded Jesse number 28, he told him, I love you, I'll make you a big name. Nobody will love you the way I do. With me, everything will be well with you. There was a little argument in the dressing room. One day, the player told the coach, I prefer Jesse number 28. Number 7 is too big for me. The Jesse number 7 of Man U, before now, had been worn by George Best, Brian Robson, Eric Cantona, and David Beckham. And you want me to wear the same Jesse number? The expectation of the people will be too much for me to handle. And the man said, wear Jesse number 7, I'll make you a superstar. And so the Jesse became the motivation. And now you know the result. Motivated by Baba Feggy, awards upon awards came his way. 
in the year 2007, he became the PFA player, sub player of the year, and the PFA young player of the year. He also became the PFA sub fans player of the year, and also the PFA Premier League team of the year member. And finished the year 2007 as a runner up at Tokaka for the Ballon d'Or. The love from Baba Fergie also helped him become the world player of the year. Nobody can love you the way I do. I'm with you, my love. And to show that no other team I can love him the way one you should love. Baba Fegi. On the 19th of March 2008, made Ronaldo the captain of United for the first time in his career. When they pumped, both in 1 2 2 0. Let me add that four days after that, he became the first Premier League player to be named the World Player of the Year. Success they say attracts, and so the love I shown by Baba Fegi attracted people from Spain. Who started telling Ronaldo nobody can love you the way we do here in Madrid? Your game makes our heart yori yori. And when I was at also, he declared on the 29th of January 2007, I know about Real Madrid's interest in me, and I've discussed with Alex Ferguson and Carlos Perez, and they have prohibited me from talking about uh, that club in this club. Love from Old Trafford, and love too from the city of Madrid. We love you, we love you. And on the 13th of April 2007, Baba Fegi, and I mean Alex Ferguson, go out at David Gill to give Ronaldo a five-year contract extension at Manchester United. And he was told that no one can love you the way we do. The 11th of January 2008, with words still coming from Spain, David Gill, the chief executive of Manchester United, declared there's no chance of us selling him to anybody. No way! Whatever the money, no way. And a reply came only 12 days after he spoke from Real Sporting Director Pedro Mijatovic. Who said it will not be bad for us to have a player like Cristiano Ronaldo who will still get him? Your love they affect my brain into you, they make me go insane. Ten days after that, Real Madrid score declared Cristiano Ronaldo right now is a 10 out of 10, the best in the world. I will need him, he will be good business for us. On 11th of May 2008, Real Madrid declared this boy is so good, we'll be willing to pay 100 million pounds for his legs. Man, you can't love him the way we do. And as words came from Madrid, Manchester United fired back through Gill, who declared he's got four more years to play for us, and that will be till 2012. He's going nowhere. A day after Madrid spoke, we will get him. What a battle for two legs. And when it was getting too tough, two days after that, 23rd of May 2008, Alex Ferguson spoke openly and said Real lacked moral fiber and that they were beginning to behave like the dictator General Franco. They think they can ride on everybody's back. They can't get our player. 27th of May, United threatened to report Real to FIFA over the attempt to buy Ronaldo and are showing him love. 5th of June 2008, Ronaldo joked with a few friends when he said, I've always stated I'd like to play for Real some Day. 7th of June 2008, Rio Ferdinand declared no club can love him the way we do. I want Rooney, Ronaldo he meant, to stay and help us win more titles. 9th of June 2008, United took the case to Zurich, Switzerland and reported officially to FIFA that Real was trying to push. Two days after, Ramon Cardona, then president of Madrid, said they can't stop us from getting this boy. 18th of June 2008, Safegi declared that Ronaldo will definitely, definitely stay at United because he can't get it better anywhere else. And two days after Fergie spoke, Ronaldo said, I don't know anything more about my future. And so at that point, Lover from Spain was beginning to adulterate love in Manchester. October 8, 2008, Real Madrid's forward, Ruth Van Nistelrooy, the Ruth one, declared that no one can love this guy the way we do. 
Ronaldo will one day join us. End of quote. No players have a way of talking to one another. 10th of December 2008, Real's coach Abenard Schuster declared it will be tougher next year for Manchester United to hold him down. And by December 18th, 2008, it was becoming clearer that the young man was going to move. That was the day Real Madrid's director Pedro Chapote revealed that Real Madrid had already signed Ronaldo and that all they were waiting for was just time, time, time. End of the season to declare it. If you are asking me what we are going to do now, I will tell you we have already signed the best player for the summer. And when it is time, we will declare what we have done. Asked on the 19th of December to react to what Pedro Chapote said on the 18th of December. Alex Ferguson said, Do you think I'll sell a player to Real Madrid? Absolutely no chance. I won't sell him to them. 14th of January 2009, Alex Ferguson had told everyone, and I quote him, Ronaldo owes a lot to Manchester United for nurturing and encouraging him in the proper way at the right time. He's going nowhere. <laughs> 16th of January 2009, Ramon Caron, who left his position as Real Madrid president, saw his successor, Fiorentino Perez, declaring that Ronaldo was his target. And when at 21st of March 2009, Fernando Souza, Ronaldo's godfather, spoke, it was clear that the young man was beginning to buy a ticket to Madrid. This year, hardly anyone is saying anything, and it is certain the transfer will go much better. End of quote. 18th of April 2009, Ronaldo declared, I am very happy to be here. I love this club at Old Trafford, Manchester United. I want to win more trophies here. At the moment, I think I am at the right club. But I tell you this, he ended the talk with a big laugh. I'm happy here and I want to say, I <laughs> hope. And with that, people said, this guy is going. Now listen. Listen again. That's Ronaldo. I want to stay here and that big laugh. <laughs> Tens of May. He reacted angrily for the very first time when he was substituted by Alex Ferguson in a game against Manchester City. And it was clear at that point that love was in Madrid, no longer in Manchester. 2nd of June 2009, Florentino Perez, president of Real Madrid, declared, We waited two years to sign this model. Show love when he was groomed by one and showed money, big money, as love by another. So, which one is real love? The money or the talk? Ronaldo. Love should be in figures, an offer of words. Put it this way deeds, not words. Now, listen to bracket. Words. Words. Nobody can love you the way I do. I'm with you, my love. Words. See the way all the things they flow. They Some surprised to see how they love you so. Words. Girl, are the suspect say them no, no. Say that you be the person where they make me flow. More words, please. Ooh, tell them say you are the blessing, and that's why you are so interested. More words. Nobody is understanding Nobody the way is. you are. Oh, my beautiful again. Well, let's declare that uh, Ronaldo had that from Alex Ferguson and others. Uh, at uh, Old Trafford, but the young man preferred uh, the cash, the check. Uh, so you now have a new definition of love. Uh. Wishing him well. Bye bye now. Make people they say I don't lose my six my brain, but they can't stop me from loving Nobody. you. I'm waiting my love, love.